Okay, so the next command we want to know is probably let's open a file uh, or let's start a new file. Um, the same command does either. It's essentially an open command. If you give it a file name that already exists, it opens the existing file for editing. If you give it a file name that doesn't already exist, it opens it as a blank new file. Um, so the command to create a new file is control X followed by F. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's, uh, so if you hit a command and it's wrong or you get stuck somewhere in a command, hitting control G will clear out the bottom. So like I just did control X F and now it's saying, ask me for the fill column, that's not what I wanted to do. So if I want to cancel this, if I do control G, it'll cancel that command and just take me back. Uh, so the correct command is control X, control F. And you'll see now it's saying, find file down here. So I can type in the name of file. In this case, I'm just gonna, this file doesn't exist yet. I want to start a file called new file. So I'm just gonna type in new file and hit enter. So now everyone should be more or less looking at the same thing, unless you just so happen to already have a file called new file in the current directory, in which case you'll be looking at that. Um, but we're looking at a blank file. The stuff along the top of Emacs doesn't tend to be very helpful. I'm honestly not even sure why it's there, because you can't click on it. Uh, the stuff on the bottom, on the other hand, this is the Emacs status bar. This tends to be pretty helpful. In parentheses here, you'll always have what's called the Emacs mode. Fundamental is just the default mode. Emacs is capable of doing syntax highlighting, automatic spacing for different programming languages, and all kinds of jazz like that. We'll get into that in a minute, but if we were in like a mode for a specific programming language, it would say like C mode down here, or Python mode, or HTML mode. Because we're just in a file that's, I mean, it's an empty file and it's not dot anything, so Emacs doesn't know if it's anything special, it just goes into the default text editing mode, which is fundamental. Uh, this here will always tell you the name of the file you're currently in. So obviously we're in a file called new file right now. That's why it says this right here. And this little feedback down here is just reminding us of the fact that the file we tried to open doesn't exist, so it created a new file. That's why it says new file in parentheses. If we opened up a file that already existed, this wouldn't say new file. This would still say the file name. I think the front row might be the only row that has outputs that work consistently. Yeah. yeah. OK, so questions on getting into an empty file, opening a file, so on and so forth. So let's write something in this file and save it. In Emacs, unless you start doing a command sequence with control something, you're always just in editing mode. So this is what's easy about Emacs. I mean, you can just start typing now. So this is a test file. I mean, it works like you'd expect. You type, you hit enter, you go to the next line. I mean, it's working like a standard text editor now. You can use the mouse keys to navigate your cursor around. You obviously have no mouse, so this is how you navigate your cursor around. Um, there are lots of fancy things you can do, like automatically jump to certain lines, all of that kind of jazz. We'll get into some of that tonight. We're going to teach a very small percentage of Emacs tonight because it's such a ridiculously large program. But you can start typing, you can start writing. This is another line. And you'll get to a point where, well, we want to save the file. Or maybe we just want to exit. Um, so let's say we just decide to exit the program. So we haven't actually saved the file. We're going to do our control X, control C command. And Emacs is going to stop us this time instead of exiting like it normally would. It's going to say, this file isn't saved. Do you want to save it? It's the same prompt you get in Microsoft Word when you close it without saving, right? So it gives you a couple of options. So Y, obviously, for yes, and for no. The activation point cancels the command. Uh, some other stuff here that we're not going to worry about. We do want to save this file, so we're just going to go ahead and hit a Y, and then Emacs will save it in Mexico. If we do an LS now, we'll notice that we have this additional file inside our directory, right? We just saved it. It is new file. So now let's say we want to use Emacs to open it up again. There's two ways we could do this. We can go into Emacs like we did before, just by launching it, and we can open the file by doing Control X, Control F. If we type in the name of the file, we will open the file back up just like we had before. Uh, I'm going to close the file again. This time it's not going to prompt me because I made no changes, so there's nothing to say. I had no problem closing. Uh, when you open Emacs, you can actually specify one or more files directly on the command line. So you actually rarely open Emacs just by itself. You almost always know what file you want to edit first. So if we type in the name of that file, 
And we hit an end. You can actually you can specify as many files as you want here. We only have one, but if we type in new file and hit enter, now Emacs will open directly into that file and skip the start screen altogether. Okay, we're good? Okay. So We've done the basics of editing. Uh, we open and close a file. We can save a file. Sometimes you want to save a file without having to exit Emacs, right? You may just want to save it. If you're writing a long file, it's a good idea to save it every few minutes in case your computer crashes, so on and so forth, all the normal reasons. The command to save is Control X S. And you'll see it's saying no files need saving because I haven't actually made any changes. If I add yet yeah, another line and do Control X S, now it's going to prompt me, do you want to save the file? If I hit yes, just like before, only it doesn't close, because I just told it to save. Um, there are actually two save commands. One is Control X S, that's the one I just did. If you do Control X S, it'll ask you to save any currently open files. We only have one file open right now, but Emacs is actually capable of opening you know, as many files as you would want. Um, so right now, we only have one file open. It's prompting us to save that file. That's because I just did Control X S. If instead, I'm going to do Control G to cancel that. If instead I do Control X, Control S, it saves the file you're currently working on and it doesn't prompt you. So one saves all the files and prompts you for a confirmation for each one. The other one just saves the file you're currently in and there's no prompt. Cool. Um, 